Tonight, on 48 Hours, a deadly shooting on New Year's Eve. It happened back in 2014. 26-year-old Colleen McKernan shot her husband. She says it was self-defense. He started to walk towards me, and I raised the gun. And then it was over. It was so quick. So, innocent or a cold-blooded killer? 48 Hours takes us behind closed doors as lawyers and forensic animators, that's right, animators, evaluate the evidence. Tracy Smith from 48 Hours is here to talk about this special edition. It is called The Evidence Room. <laughs> All right, Tracy, thanks so much for being here. I even kind of had a second take when I was kind of looking at this. Forensic animators. Yeah, what is that? It's so they build animations based on what they think happened at the crime scene. They take all of the evidence, all of the forensics, the trajectory of the bullets, and they figure out what the best theory is for what happened. Now, they're hired by the defense or the prosecution, so their theory often matches with what the defense wants the jury to believe or the prosecution. But these aren't attorneys. They're not criminal investigators. They're animators who, who, as you said, are, are just recreating something. They're, they're making something up. Well, in this case, Scott Roeder, who is the forensic animator that um, we spend time with in these two hours, he is using, he's had tons of training in forensic science and in uh, shooting scene okay. examinations mm -hmm. in um, CSI. And so he takes all of that evidence and puts mm -hmm. it together. He's been doing it for 15 years to create these animations. So it's not like, you know, just some Joe on the street putting together a computer animation. There's lots of experience. Experience behind it. We should also say that Scott Roeder is a paid consultant for CBS News. Uh, but can this type of animation, this kind of evidence, balance out for a jury what the jury would otherwise consider, which is, is, is she the kind of lady who would kill her husband? Is he a wife beater? You know? That's I mean, it's a great question. Here's the thing they're very controversial because they are so powerful. Hmm. When you see these animations, oh, he turned that way, you start to think it's fact. That's uh -huh. what happens with these juries. And it's not, it's a theory. Now, Scott will say it's the most probable theory. This is what most likely happened, but still, it's one version of the events. And he is working for the defense. Right. But it's interesting that, it, that jurors now can get a look at someone's view of, of what happened. They don't just have to hear it. Right. So they can and visualize exactly. it. Exactly. In these 48 hours cases, so many times there's only one witness, the person who stands accused. Mm -hmm. So to be able to show what you think happened in that moment is incredibly powerful. We're probably going to see a lot more of this. Tracy, Very thank you. Very interesting, yeah. All right.